everyone and welcome to This Esme's Barn Tour in Minecraft. So if you don't know, I actually built her stables three years ago and a lot has changed since then. She's done a whole renovation series and I thought it was about time to give her Minecraft stables a renovation too. Before we get started, if you love Minecraft, you can come and play on my Minecraft server, Pinecraft Equestrian, which is available for Bedrock and Java. The IP is pinecraftequestrian.com, so swing by and say hi. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off by her house. Now, <laughs> I think generally it's kind of weird trying to replicate someone's house, especially if you don't know them personally. So instead, I just did a really, really rough kind of guess of what the house sort of looks like. This isn't accurate at all. As you can see through this window, it's empty because I did not want to decorate somebody's house when I don't know them. <laughs> so I know for a fact that up the side of this, um, house is the stairs and I know that I think her old bedroom at least was through here now I know that she has a house of her own I'm not going to build it because I think that's really weird but anyway after we've come kind of through this doorway you can see the rest of the stables so once we come down these stairs I know for a fact that she I think parks the trailer here now I didn't build her trailer um if you'd like to see that let me know in the comments and I might consider building it it won't look perfect but I'll give it my best shot. Anyway once we come past this sort of gravel, I assume this is a parking spot sort of, um, we go down the main driveway. So of course we have the very iconic I'd say um, massive hedge that is over here. I think that I did a really good job with it just because hedges are really difficult to get right. It took me ages to kind of fluff this up to the way I wanted it. Um, now we're going to ignore these paddocks for a second because I'm going to loop back and walk you through them a bit more. Now, if you, before I get any questions, this fencing is kind of a makeshift electrical fence. And if you want to know how to make it, I've gone ahead and made a YouTube short on how to make it. So it's a really quick tutorial and you can check that out on my channel. But moving on down this driveway, which I'm now realizing is quite long. Um, we, we might have to fly to get over there rather quick. We actually come to the main yard. Now I call this kind of the quad area because it looks well like a quad um, and it came out way way bigger than I thought uh, it was going to be it is quite large um, but it also makes sense for the size of the stables inside as well as the tack room and the feed room one thing you might notice is that the brick trimming is actually from the chisels and bits mod so I handcrafted these trimmings to make it look as real as I possibly can now another thing is the mo blocks mod allowed me to create custom colored blocks now this was really interesting so I basically got to mix up a load of dyes and create colors that I think represent her barn the best now I definitely didn't get it perfect everything came out a little bit too gray but I tried my best I think um, I don't know if I could have get, gotten it any closer I am NOT an art student so I don't know color theory very well so that is sort of what it looks like over here but we'll start with the tack room now I think this is one of the more exciting rooms um, we we have the double doors of course which are white and oh how could I have forgotten the hanging planters from the decorations mod I absolutely love that mod it is amazing for decorations but <laughs> moving on from the flowers when we go inside is the tack room da, 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 da. now I did have to make some alterations in here because of course I'm working in Minecraft and not everything is going to fit correctly but I think I got it pretty close so once you first walk in on the right hand side is the bridle rack and the saddle rack now I know this section is where she keeps her Voltaire design stuff which I absolutely love um, but I wasn't able to do her accent wall because it shows on the other side, on the outside of the stables as well, which didn't look great. So I kind of just left it um, white and blank. 
So across from her saddles, she has this really beautiful sort of vintage dark wood uh, cabinet where she keeps a lot of her helmets and her treats. Now, of course, it doesn't quite fit in Minecraft to put helmets. Um, however, I did fill the little cabinets with some halters, some uh, bell boots, as well as a few treats like apples. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this cabinet came out. It doesn't look exactly like hers, but I can't complain after all. It's Minecraft. Now, just to the left of that, this is where I know she keeps her mirror, but there are no mirrors in Minecraft, so I just put a little table with a little pot on it and a beautiful picture of her and Joey. Now, all further left of that, this is actually where I put her helmet collection. Now, I tried to pick helmets that were iconically hers, like the Esme Luna, and I think there's a pony mag ex Charles Owen one as well but I might have gotten that wrong um, now the picture behind is just a random Minecraft picture uh, but it, I, th I still think it looks really cool um, further to the left of that I actually have no idea what she actually puts here um, so I put just a general kind of workbench sort of thing with a sink. I don't think that's right at all, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, but that's fine. I think it fits sort of in the room. Now this uh, little workbench is actually my favorite because I love the willow uh, texture. It's like this beautiful like green and uh, with some extra decorations mod, I was able to create this like bench and I didn't have beautiful horseshoes to put up, but I did put some fairy lights down and I just think it kind of brings the whole look together. Now above is a wonderful picture of her and uh, Joey and I think it just it just helps the room pop a little bit more with some uh, paintings now I do have to admit I was not able to replicate her incredible uh, collection of saddle pads because you can't actually hang saddle pads now if you're wondering what the horse mod is it's called Starworm Equestrian or Swim and for the minute you can't hang saddle pads um, so I just put up some saddles and some halters as well because you always need a place to hang your halters up now it doesn't look quite as impressive as her pad collection but I'm pretty happy with how it came out regardless now directly Directly above the door is this wonderful picture of her and Casper. Um, I really like this picture, I think the colours look great, and it brings the whole room together. Now as we go back into the main yard, everybody knows that directly next to the tack room is the feed room. Now this room was such a struggle because um, there aren't a lot of Minecraft blocks, uh, at least decoration blocks that fit in here properly, um, but I did my best. So once you come in, directly to the left is a little shelf with a plant pot, a picture of Esme, and a giant apple. Um, I couldn't really fit anything else on here, and I wasn't really happy putting anything else on the shelf anyway. Uh, it's not perfect, but you know what? I'll take it. I still think it looks really cute. Now, directly next to that is actually the feed bin. Now, I'm really happy with how this came out. Um, the only downside is I can't actually put feed inside of it. Um, you can only put water in these barrels, but you know what? It's iconic and I've got it pretty close, so I can't grumble about that. Uh, now, I did actually stick a huge thumbnail that she made ages and ages ago about feeding horses. Now, <laughs> it does, I know that this isn't actually in her feed room, but it helped bring a pop of color out and uh, fill up the walls a little bit, which I did like. I've got a cookie on the counter. Can't remember why I put this here. Just imagine it's a horse cookie, you know, because why not? Um, and of course we have the bucket collection. Now I didn't get the colors right um, <laughs> at all, actually, now that I'm looking at it, uh, but I still think the buckets bring a beautiful pop of color to the room and um, technically they're useful as well, which I absolutely love. So tell me which colors are in the wrong places and uh, which colors I've missed as well, because I'm sure I've missed some colors. So to the right of that, we've got this beautiful chalkboard. Now I made this chalkboard with the chisels and bits mod and it's not technically usable, but I still think it looks really cool in here. I can't remember if she's actually got a chalkboard off the top of my head, um, but I decided this wall definitely needed something that wasn't a picture. Um, and to the right of that is <laughs> a very inaccurate kind of shelf. I know that this is actually where she puts a lot of the bags of Baileys and the different feeds that she has, as well as probably shavings. Um, but of course I don't have that in Minecraft. So using the bench actually behind with the uh, willow, I was able to create this kind of shelving unit. And I did put some 
quote unquote hay nets up above. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm still kind of happy with like how it came out. And of course in the corner, got a little pile of shavings. Is this accurate? Absolutely not, but it still kind of ties the room together. So um, I'm really happy with the feed room considering how bloody difficult it was to get right. So that is pretty much it for those two rooms. Now I'm excited to show you that the stables are indeed populated. Yes, the horses are actually here. The one horse I don't have is Duke because there's no horse small enough. And you'll see that in a moment when I show you Joey. So of course, next to the feed room is Joey's stable. Now, when we open this door, he's chilling over here. Hello, Joey. You're looking absolutely fabulous. Um, now, I think this coat is closer to when she first got him. He's still very, very dark. Um, he's a lot lighter now as greys are. Um, and I think he looks wonderful. Unfortunately, you can't change the sizes of the horses. So Mickey is as big as Joey. But I think it's Joey's height pretty accurately. I mean, he's very tall next to me yeah he's he's really tall uh so that works out well for joey at least now joey's stable came out way way bigger than i had expected uh but you know what i think he's enjoying it and he hasn't complained once at all so i'll take that i did actually put their buckets in here as well um normally i know that she'd use them for uh feeding and these ones for water but in the swim mod they're actually switched um so i haven't put anything in them because uh i decided not to but joey's fine um we're gonna go and visit mickey who is next door so he's in here Mickey and Casper's and Duke's stable is exactly the same design um, and the same size as well. As you can see, it's quite a lot smaller than Joey's. And uh, Mickey's peed on the mats. Of course he has. Um, here is Mickey. He's absolutely adorable. Obviously, he is, uh, as you can see, just as big as... Um, joey however his coat is absolutely wonderful because he's a beautiful cremello and he has mickey can you say still uh he's got these beautiful little like pink hearts on his rump which i love uh so mickey's just just chilling he's hanging out um he actually escaped before and i had to catch him because i left the door open but there you go uh we also have a tap here now this tap does work if you've got a hose um so that's really nice if the horses make a mess on the kind of uh, concrete area i can clean it up so the final horse that I actually have in the stable is Casper. Now Casper is looking absolutely strapping. Once again, same height as Joey, uh, so he's huge, but that's fine perfectly fine he's just gonna i think chill in the stables for now um i did actually use these shavings from the swim mod as well uh they work really well in these stables because they're usable as well so next to casper stable is of course duke stable now it's sadly empty there's no duke here let's just imagine he's running out in the uh field somewhere being uh the little menace that he is and absolutely adorable pony um but we're going to ignore duke's stable now next to duke's is the wash stalls now i loved this it was so difficult to get right and i don't think i did an amazing job but i still like it in here anyway um i've kind of replicated her solarium or red light therapy i can't remember which one she has um right in the center of the stables uh <laughs> to the best of my abilities at least and we've got the cross ties here as well those are actually functional which i absolutely love now i know i've seen at least in a thumbnail that she has this kind of blue grooming kit or like bluey kind of cyan grooming kit um and i thought this cooler looked exactly like it now you can actually put stuff in the cooler which i love if you have hoof picks and stuff you can pop them in here um so that just adds a bit of realism i suppose to the room now i did put these trap doors up as the kind of paneling that i know is in here and i know on these little ledges she kind of puts her lotions and potions which i have also done uh they do float but that's fine i've had to use an invisible item frame to get them up there but i still think it looks cool and in the corner we just have this little locker as well for extra storage i don't know if that's accurate um i think that's actually her shower section here uh but we don't have a shower in minecraft so <laughs> i had to make do that's the main sort of uh, stable yard area. Now, after the wash bay, we actually have the paddocks. Now, I know I spoke a little, ooh, that, that opens the wrong way. We're gonna ignore that. Um, I did actually speak a little bit at the beginning about how I made this fencing. 
Um, I pretty much did that for most of this section because I was kind of eyeballing where the actual fences were and where the electrical fences have been placed. So again, I don't know if this is accurate um, or not, but I know that approximately there are about three kind of medium sized paddocks here. And um, over here, I kind of took like a big plot of land and just like slashed it right down the middle with some electric fencing. And uh, I did put the donkeys in here, but I'll talk about that once I actually get over there so this is the paddock area um again don't know exactly how accurate it is i don't know what happens down here either I've just kind of fenced it off um but i still think it looks pretty darn good i like the trees in the background as well i think that makes it slightly closer to the real thing so after the paddocks we're going to go back through the yard and we're actually going to use this gate to go straight through this hedge archway now in here is one of my favorite sections um i definitely didn't get this right i don't entirely know what this section looks like uh, i just kind of made it a bit overgrown to kind of give it some depth i don't know if it's actually looking like this but once you follow the path through you'll see that this is actually the arena now the placing i don't think is correct but for what i know it's not too bad so we've got the kind of um i think it's like a mix of like rubber mat and sand uh footing that's really popular in the UK that I know this Esme has. Um, here are some trotting poles and a little kind of medium jump and then sort of a bigger jump over here. Uh, that's pretty much it for this area, but I've kind of fleshed it out with a bit more like hedging, a bit of overgrowth. Uh, I don't think it actually looks like this and I don't think that the house is directly behind it, but that's just what I've done. Um, that's what I assumed is correct um anyhow past the main yard uh you'll see this little path that goes around here now that goes into the woods and i'm pretty sure that over there is also like the muck pile and that there's like a field over there as well uh but i don't know too much about that section so i didn't really bother with um extending the property past that point uh but as you can see here i saw in one of her videos she had like a purple wheelbarrow that was sort of in sight from like over by the stables so i just popped that there Again, don't know how accurate that is. Uh, but here is the shed. Now, I actually really like the shed. It's really cozy in here. Um, I've managed to make it really cozy, um, kind of by accident. But I know that this is probably where they keep a lot of, like, tools and uh, probably bags of, like, feed and shavings and haylage and stuff. So I just kind of cluttered it up in here and made it look a bit cluttered and homey, which I think I have done a pretty good job on. So I'm happy with that. Now, the final part of this tour is this paddock. Now, I will be completely honest with you guys. I know, I know that this is Mickey and Duke's paddock. I know that this is not the donkey's paddock. I think it maybe it was at one point, but I don't think it is anymore. Now, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't actually know where the donkeys are placed. Um, I don't possess that knowledge. So I just put them in here. And of course, they look like ridiculous um, Minecraft zo uh, zombies, Minecraft donkeys. But uh, unfortunately, there's no mod with like little cute donkeys in them. So uh, this is just what they look like, which is <laughs> upsetting. But but that's fine. Um, it is what it is. Uh, so they're just chilling out in the paddock there. We'll just imagine that there's a duke running around in there as well. So that is pretty much the entire build. This took quite a while because I had to do a lot of cross-referencing. I wanted it to be um, as accurate as sort of I could possibly get it without being too like creepy um, and honestly I'm really happy with how it turned out now if you want to download this for yourself uh, you can go ahead and find the files on my website abigailpinehaven.com do be aware that you're going to need quite a beefy pc to run some of these mods uh, so just be aware of that um, so that is pretty much it for this barn tour let me know in the comments how close I actually am uh, I think I did pretty pretty well for minecraft standards uh but let me know what i got wrong and what i got right so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye